We're going to talk about the differences between linear functions and exponential functions. So linear functions grow by adding and by subtracting the same amount every single time. They grow by adding or subtracting. So if I want to take like a real simple linear um, sequence, I could start off with 5, and every single time I'm just going to add 5. So 5 turns into 10, 10 turns into 15, 15 turns into 20, uh, 25. Every single time I'm just going ahead and I'm doing what? I'm adding 5 to my previous term. So I'm growing, but I'm growing by adding. I can also do it with subtracting, and then I would be decreasing. My exponential functions, however, they grow by multiplying. Or by dividing. So if I had an exponential sequence, I could start off with 1. Multiply by 2, I get 2. Multiply 2, I get 4. Multiply 4, I get 8. 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128, and I keep going like this. Now you can see that every single time I'm what? I'm multiplying by 2 in this sequence, and I start to grow faster and faster and faster. The equation that I use in Linear sequences is the one that we've used many times. So my equation is going to be y equals mx plus b. This one is pretty basic. My m and my b, we already know. m is the changing amount. And it's also known as my slope. b is the starting amount in most stories and it's my y intercept for the exponential equation I have to be multiplying so I'm gonna have a little different equation this is the new one for us it's gonna be a d to the x and this guy is what I'm multiplying by every single time so a now is my starting amount And D is the changing multiplier. All right, the starting amount is still my Y intercept, but this changing multiplier is not the slope. All right, so we have to, we have to be worried about that. If I have a graph, so if I'm on my graph here, we can see that a linear graph has a nice straight line. My line is always going this way. He'll always continue to go this way. If I'm going down, he's always going this way. I have a nice y-intercept right there. My line is flat and straight. It never changes. I'm always adding the same amount each time. But an exponential function, it starts going faster and faster. Here I have 16, then 32, then 64. Before I know it, I'm in my hundreds. I'm growing, going to go growing faster and faster and faster. Same with my graph. I start going slowly, 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 slowly. But now I'm going faster and faster and faster and faster. I'm going to start going up and up and up and up and up and up and up. So my exponential graph has this curve and it goes steeper and steeper and steeper meaning my slope changes.